What is going on guys? So today in this video, I'm going to show you all the stuff or some of the stuff that I got from the running event over in Austin, Texas. All right guys, so last week I went over to the running event in Austin, Texas and the running event is one of the biggest running industry shows that there is. It's mainly for retailers, so there's a lot of great, cool stuff to check out. And a lot of things that aren't even out in the market yet, you get to see it for the first time when you're over there. A lot of shoes, and you guys know that I'm not a huge shoe reviewer, so I actually should have checked out a lot of the shoe people, but I didn't. But I did get a few things, and today in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I got. So the first thing that we're gonna start off is from some of the smaller things. And at the end, I'm gonna show you what four shoes that I got from TRE. And these are things that were given to me at TRE. I did not pay for it. They did not tell me to do a review on it. This is my own thoughts on all of this. This is just stuff that I got over at TRE. So this is the bag of nutrition that I got over at TRE. It was literally like trick or treat over there. When you go over there, you get a lot of things. and. A lot of nutrition, you know, goo's there. There's like all these little bars that you can get. This this is like a chocolate bar over here. This is, uh, this guy was handing out these things in droves. He was putting so many packets of these in people's bags. I didn't really want too many. Uh, there's also like stuff like gnarly nutrition was there. Goo was there. Uh, power, power bar, power bar was there. So they were giving out a lot of nutrition as well. And yeah, one of the cool things that I did see is this one. I had not seen this one on the market. This one is called Char Gel. So if you guys see that, Char Gel. And when I first drank this, I thought to myself, this is something that tastes like an Asian drink that you would find at like an Asian market. And when I went to their booth, lo and behold, they are an Asian company. They actually are the brand that make Haichu. So if you know that candy, that's a Korean candy, Haichu, uh, they make that and I love it and this tastes really good. It's kind of like a jelly drink. So whenever you do drink it, it's great. Uh, I think this is probably good for an ultra marathon because it is huge. So something that you probably drink, you know, but maybe before a run or at your aid station. So charge up, this is something I got. And I got a bunch of other ones too. Uh, I did get this, this is from a company. What is this company? Highland, so if you guys see that. I actually gave a guy over at Brazos Bend, he was cramping up really, really bad. Like he almost collapsed on the trails because he was cramping up. We had to hold him up. I was trying to massage his legs, get the cramp out. And they have this thing right here. This is called leg cramps. So I've never used it before, but this is like some sublingual anti-cramping stuff. So you're supposed to take it once you start cramping. And I was like, you know what? Might as well give it to him because he's cramping real bad and he used it. I saw him walk off. So I don't know if it really worked that great or just time, but he used it and I'm excited to try to use this whenever I do cramp. Hopefully that never happens. But yeah, this is something that's pretty interesting. Highlands leg cramp. That's what I got. Got a lot of other things like this is a Zim. This is some pretty tasty, you know, similar products. You put it in water and you have all your electrolytes and vitamins that you could want. So that's that, but yeah. Bunch of, bunch of uh, goodies that you can get over at TRE. And yeah, this is what I got. We'll move on to some other cooler things. So this is another thing that I got over at TRE. This is called Booze Dust. If y'all can see that, this is called Booze Dust. It's kind of interesting that they were there. This is basically a hydrating drink mix. So you would put this in your cocktail so that you have electrolytes so you don't get as drunk or you don't feel the effects of the alcohol afterwards. So this is kind of interesting. I don't know if I would bring this to a bar because basically you would be shaking this into your drink. This white powder looks very suspicious in a bar, but if you're at home, you know, drinking with friends, it's pretty interesting to have this. Maybe you could uh, sprinkle a little bit of this into your drinks and you could have a little less of a hangover the next day. So this is booze dust. This is another thing that I got over there. Uh, this is actually creatine. So if you guys see this, this is called concrete. So supposedly this is gonna be creatine that's not gonna make you retain water. That was one of the big things that I noticed whenever I took creatine was that I was gaining a little bit of weight. It might've been water weight, but still 
I did not like that fact because I'm already a big guy and each pound was bad for me mentally. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see I'm gonna see what this does for me. I'm gonna try and take this for 30 days, see what happens. I'm kind of interested. I'm getting older, so I need something to help me. And creatine is one of the most studied supplements out there, and it's been proven to be pretty safe for you. So I'm gonna be taking this concrete. Kind of interesting concrete. The running industry is very into the environment. So one of the things that we got when we picked up our packets was this reusable Nathan's bottle right there. So this is a little bit different than one they gave us last year. Kind of weird, they give you one every year. But this is a, a nice little water bottle they gave us, 1,000 milliliters. And speaking of water bottles, this is actually a shaker bottle that I got from Brewmate. So they were over there telling you about all their stuff. And they were like, you know what? Do you want one of these? And I am not one to turn down anything. So this is a pretty cool shaker bottle. I'll probably do a review on this in the channel coming up pretty soon. But yeah, I love this thing. I've used this for the gym a couple of times. It has a little handle like that. And there's a little agitator up at the top. So if y'all can see that right there, a little agitator. So whenever you do mix powder in there, it gets agitated pretty good. And you get a nice little mixed drink. All right, what else did I get? Uh, I also got this. This was the switchback cup. So this is from Clean Canteen. So a little, little low ball drink holder. So yeah, uh, I thought this was pretty cool. I saw them and they were giving these out. So of course I grabbed one and yeah, nice little drink. So that's, that's that stuff. Let's move on to some of the cooler stuff that I received over there when I was there. So whenever I do go to these events, it's pretty cool to actually meet the people that I've worked with. So I've worked with a lot of companies doing product reviews here on this channel. And it's cool that I met with Orange Mud. Orange Mud, this is the pack that I got. I forget what this pack is called. But, you know, I have other packs from Orange Mud. And some of them don't fit me. I am a pretty big dude. I'm 255 pounds right now. My chest is a little bit wider. I do lift weights. So... A lot of packs don't fit me. So that's what I did when I went over there. Try to see if packs fit the bigger runner. And uh, I have one of their other packs that I wear. You probably saw the brown one. I think that's the Endurance Pack 3.0, which it does fit me, but it's a little bit tight underneath the arms. So whenever I try this one out, I forget what it's called. Sorry, this is, I don't know which one this is, but I will definitely do a review on it. But this fit me a lot better. So for bigger guys, this Orange Mud Pack, is gonna fit really good. If you guys leave me a comment down below and wanna know what this is, I will reply and find that out. But I got this also from Orange Mud. Thank you so much for giving this to me. I used this during my Brazos Bend half marathon I did this past weekend and it was great. Fit me perfectly. I had no little issues of chafing or tightness that you usually get from other packs as a bigger runner. What is another cool item that I got? Uh, some of the items, like I said, are items that don't come out until later in the year or later next year. So this is one of the items that I got, and this is from Shox. So Shox started making some sunglasses. These are called the Road Wave. So right there, Road Wave sunglasses that have the, the Shox kind of technology with the bone conduction. Comes in this little case right here. I have been using it. This will be um, up, this will be up on my channel pretty soon. These are the sunglasses. Let's see them on. I actually do like the look of them. Probably more for cyclists for sure. And yeah, I can see me running in these when I put on contacts. But yeah, looks pretty nice. I'll do a full review on the channel pretty soon. So yeah, these are some shocks sunglasses, the Road Waves sunglasses. I like them so far. We'll see how I feel about them after another week or two. All right, the next thing that I got, this is called Barefoot Size. These are insoles, supposedly supposed to strengthen your foot. So if you guys see the um, little things right here, you put these in your insoles and they get a little bit more bigger each one you put on there. So kind of interesting. Uh, I'm gonna definitely review this later on, see if it actually works. It's kind of weird. It's a insole that's supposed to make you walk more barefoot, which kind of is not what barefoot running is. Why would you need an insole? But we'll check it out. I'll do a full review on this later on in the channel for sure. And then the next thing I got, I will get to the shoes. The shoes are coming after this one, but this is something that I was interested. This is from a company called 
crossover symmetry. So this is their hip and core type of workout deal. But so basically this is a workout band, but it does have like this foam, foam stuff over here that's gonna make it a little bit more comfortable on you when you are using it. And you guys know I've been having a lot of hip issues, so I was excited to see this. I'm gonna definitely try to work this in into my workouts. Uh, probably a couple of days a week to hopefully strengthen my hip. I think this would be a good thing for me. And I was excited they offered this to me. And I'll definitely do a review of this if I actually do use it. All right, guys, let's get on to the shoes. So let me talk to you about Brooks. So Brooks, they have a thing at the expo at the, uh, I call it an expo because it's pretty much an expo that you would see at a marathon, but like on steroids. Uh, it's like so much more bigger and there's a lot more things you could do over there. A lot more companies, every company, every major company is over there. And we try to talk to each of them as much as we can, uh, but it's hard to talk to everybody in only two days. And we like to, you know, chat, chat up everybody. But Brooks, they have a deal on the first day of the expo that for the first 300 people, they give away shoes. So. Uh, there's a big line at the beginning. It's kind of like Black Friday. Everybody's anticipating the doors be open. And once the doors open, everybody runs inside and they tell the Brooks people what shoe they want and they hand them a shoe. You don't know what shoe you're gonna get, but they're free shoes. So you can get whatever they can give you. And this is what they gave me. These are the Brooks Levitate. So these are the Brooks Levitate right there. Cool looking shoe, I haven't worn them. These are neutral trainers, so hopefully I can wear them. I've worn a ton of different shoes and some of those shoes I cannot wear just because my feet are weird. My feet tend to like more minimalist stuff. I do wear the Nike Pegasus Trails. Those work well for me, but a lot of shoes don't. So we'll have to see how these work for me. I'm excited to try them out and hopefully I'll get a review. Sometimes I can't run them, so there's no point in me doing a review on shoes that I can't run because they're gonna get a bad review anyway, but hopefully the Brooks Levitate is something that I can review for you guys and you guys could uh, learn about what I think about them. All right, so let's talk about the next pair of shoes. This is from a company that was gone for a long time. If you guys heard of Score, and I actually reviewed Score shoes on this channel before, they're back. They're back to their original stuff. They brought out the phase and the cores, I think what it's called. But these are the phases. And yeah, these are pretty cool shoes. They're very minimalist. There's no foam. It's just basically the shoe, the upper, and then the insole. So that's all you're gonna get with this shoe. And that's why people love them. There's a big following of people that love these shoes. And I love this colorway for sure. This is a cool colorway. And uh, yeah, this is the next pair of shoes that I got, the Scora Phases. And at night, if you guys take a picture of this, this is gonna be super reflective. So that's why I really like those shoes. So uh, thank you, Brian, for giving me these pair of shoes. The next pair of shoes that I got are from my friends over at Vibram Five Fingers. You guys know I wear a lot of minimalist shoes and uh, this is what they, they got me. I don't know if these actually fit me. I, I did try on a couple of pair and you know, Vibram Five Fingers, they change up something in the anatomy of the shoe where sometimes the toes don't fit right. So I feel like your toes need to be tight on there. These fit a little bit loose, which is not to my liking, but the smaller ones fit too tight around my small toe. So I couldn't wear them, but yeah, these are the, the next pair that I got. I don't know what the name of this one is. I feel like they're more of a cross trainer shoe. So this is the one I got, not the prettiest shoe, but even five fingers aren't known for being pretty. So this is the next shoe I got. What's the, let's, the last shoe that I got, let's talk about these. These are some shoes that aren't even out in the market yet. I think they're gonna come out on February of 2023. So this is the first time you're gonna be seeing them. These are from a company called 361 Degrees, a company out of China. And uh, yeah, these are them right here. These are called the Centauri. So you see these shoes, they have a nice foam TPU over here called Engage, and then a little bit of rubber. So I'm not sure too much about these. I did wear these around during the expo because I was wearing some other shoes that weren't so comfortable, but these are pretty comfortable from what I did walking around in them. I'll definitely have to do a full review on this. These are the Centauri from 361 degrees. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I did get some other things as well. I got some flip-flops from some Heelys. I got some flip-flops from another company as well. And for sure I'll do reviews on all of that, especially 
all the nutrition. You guys haven't seen everything I got. It's pretty gaudy, the amount of stuff that we got over there. But for sure, this is what it's all about. When you go to a convention, you're trying to get as much free stuff as you can. That's part of the fun of doing these conventions and I'm glad to be a part of the running industry. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Other stuff that I got during TRE. If you guys liked it, let me know down below and I'll definitely do a giveaway on something on my channel sooner than later. All right guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave me a comment down below. See you guys next time. Peace out.